She needs help. It could still be the hospital's fault. The first time I took her blood after she collapsed, she was trying to get out of it, dissing me for being a junior. Then when I was taking that morning's blood samples to the lab, she was acting weird. Even got me to call Cleo about a porter's job. She could have switched the labels then. Well, could have, but no evidence. Oh, you told me she was due a lumbar puncture, then did a runner. Uh, well, yes, but... Because she was nervous or because she knew the results would come back clear? Wow. Does she look ill? But why would she be doing this? Putting Damon and her family through stress? She's a wonderful woman, and she's desperate. Otherwise, she wouldn't be crying for help on national TV. Mm. Dr. Hotshot Rochester to come charging in on his big stallion. <laughs> Actually, I just got a cab. So, onwards with Mystery Illness X. Discuss your concerns with him. Do this the correct way. I'm sorry, if I can solve Maxine's case on my own, I go up on his estimation. Put your ego to one side and think about the patient. Uh, that was cool. I, I was just checking to see if she, uh, she's okay. I've been leaving you messages. Have you? You took Maxine's blood sample yesterday and I read the results. Yeah? An infection like that isn't likely to clear on that time scale. So I went back to the original sample. They are two different types of blood altogether. It's one almighty cock up. Okay. Okay, I've been uh, meaning to consult you because there's been instances leading me to believe Maxine's not ill. I think she swapped the samples. What? Damon, you're not supposed to see me in my wedding underwear. Sorry, Max, but D Valley Hospital are onto you. I think we should arrange an appointment to um, discuss our concerns. No, no, no. Ask her now for yourself. Your blood sample taken yesterday is different to the original one. He reckons you're faking being ill. So what have you got to say to them? <laughs>